Oh, hello, hello, my beautiful wolf pack. Ow! Welcome, welcome. If you're new, please hit that subscribe, hit that bell button so you can get the notifications, hit those likes, and I appreciate it if you share. Uh, today I'm doing the Witch's Wisdom Oracle Cards, which I mentioned before in the other videos that I was going to do was coming up for 2024 with my different decks of Oracle Cards. And um, also I'm going to do the regular Tarot Cards. I'm going to do actually what's coming up for 2024. Um, this will be the last videos that I'm doing for this for this time, for this year, because I'm going in again to recovery. I keep mentioning, whoever sees my videos will know that I'm going into our operation. So I'm going to be in recovery and I'll come back hopefully stronger and better next year okay so i want to wish everybody everybody a happy new year and happy holidays and if you're joining me from tiktok queen wolf tarot is the same name feel free to join me there and i thank you for joining me all right so and guys i did the general reading i did the love reading the work and money the person on your mind all of that and again oracles from the other decks if you want to catch those what was coming up for 2024 all right so let's clear the negative energy around us and let's start nice nice okay it's not on my here but it's on the desk like i always say my black tourmaline crystal anyone dealing with mental emotional physical spiritual any type of pains or issues let this bring you some healing Ooh. okay here we go all right and i did say i don't know if i said it i said it before but i don't know if you guys um heard it that i always throw three cards right and i start with the bottom energy but this time, I always read myself, you know, the cards, but I'm going to read it from the booklet. So I'm giving you the full meaning for each card. I did this for that for Halloween, I believe it was. Um, so if you want to catch that one too, because, you know, videos are sometimes they're endless. The messages are endless, I mean. Um, so whenever you hear a message, and if it doesn't resonate with you that day, check it like in another month. And you'll see that somehow it'll resonate with you okay because again the messages are timeless it's not for that specific moment if it wasn't for you but it could be another time so you'll check it out okay any videos that you see from the past a year ago whatever if you want to check it out you're interested in the ca caption go check it out maybe you need to hear that at that moment okay all right i'm gonna ask my beautiful guys to please bless and protect this case i ask that you ensure only trust where the answers come from the divine through these cards i'm gonna say to i ask that everyone this brings blessings to everyone involved so it is so be it i didn't say the see and hear and all that because i'm not gonna be doing that i'm gonna be reading it from the book so i don't need to you know i just want it to be you know messages of course from the divine that's all we care about right all right here we go what messages you have here for my wolf pack for what's coming for 2024 please and thank you my beautiful witches Let's see what messages are coming for you for 2024. For a new and brand new year. Can't believe it. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. It's coming up for 2024. Please and thank you. Okay. What messages you have for my whole time? Whoa. What's coming up for 2024? Please and thank you got the first one okay i think we need to put them this way they're hard to hold but i'm gonna have to put them this way what are the messages from my wolf pack please and thank you for 2024 for this reading okay what are the messages please and thank you you have here for my wolf pack for this reading Thank you. And we start with the bottom energy. And it says passion. Ooh, fire ignites. Look at this. I'm going to have fire and passion for this year. All right. We always start with the bottom energy. Then you got secret. Mm, book of shadows. So let's see what that's going to say. Then you have magic. Look at those beautiful candles. This is the book of shadows. This is candles. This is wand and it's in reverse intention so make sure that it's in reverse so it's telling you your intentions have to be pure remember whatever you're doing with you have that magic you have the wand look it's magic and here it has a wand okay i'm, f I'm serious all right here we go so we're gonna look for passion first okay just give me one second okay passion this is for the fire okay 
and it says, Now call upon the spirit of fire to invoke new courage and all you desire. Its strength will ravish fears and flight and ignite the flames of passion tonight. This magic is worked with harm to none, so mote be, there it is done. Your sparkle has wand and something is missing. Whether it is in your, sorry, let me just adjust this real quick. Whether it is our lust for life, belief in yourself or motivation, the element of fire is waiting to spice things up. Witches have a profound infinity with this element. Affinity, sorry, not infinity. Affinity with this element. For the, they recognize the power of flame through spell work and connection with the ancestors. The magic of fire invokes lust, passion, attraction, and love. You are being encouraged to cast aside your fear of the flame and bring warmth into your inner world. Fire waits to be acknowledged and worked with by you. Invite fire into your life and allow the strength of its energy to purify and cleanse any doubt and worries that have clouded your view. Fire will fuel you to be able to walk in your true light with full might, vitality, and vigor as you reclaim your power. The Witch's Foresight Work with the element of fire to eliminate negative thoughts and behaviors. Imagine etheric flames raging and consuming any darkness that lies within. Your fear of fire stems from the past life. Your renewed passion invokes the love you have been waiting for. And in the fire, usually you have this that's revealing, right? The four, or the witch's foresight. They have the wisdom and then they have the fire revealed. So this one says, since, times, since time began, the sun, the spark of life has ignited our inner fire and passion. Fire deities such as Belenus and Bridget have imbued our courage and empowered us to focus on the energy of fire. The theme of world I mean, a sword represents the fire element. Yes, the fire elements is the swords on the cards. Lighting, lighting a candle is a physical representation representation of fire and can be through the veil. Oh. So, yeah, ignite that. Maybe you need to light candles. This time there's candles here also and there's fire on them. So, that's what's probably telling you. Start lighting some candles, start cleansing yourself and whatever is around you, your surroundings. Okay? okay so we're going to go with Book of Shadows, which is secret. And this one says, That which you know is for you alone. Near to be shared. This yours, tis yours to own. Keep thy knowledge within your tower. Reveal the secret when full in power. This magic is worked with harm to none, so multi be, there it is done. The knowledge you possess runs deeper than you think. You have the information you need to move forward. Allow the answers to shine forth and you will gain in the knowledge you need to help you on your journey. You are the wise one, the wisdom keeper, and the book of shadows opens its pages to you as an invitation. You must document the secrets that you hold in your heart. Your thoughts, dreams, and ideas will flow as you unlock every intimate detail as you put quill to parchment. Your wise words are the key to unlock that which has been preventing you from walking your true path in its fullest capacity. This book of shadows is all you can trust in at this time. It shall hold only what which is your truth, including your magical name, never to share with others. The witch's foresight. Play your cards close to your chest. Well, I don't know if you can use these, but 
someone wishes to claim your ideas as their own be a trustworthy friend document your ideas spells and recipes in your book of shadows trust in it and then the book of shadows reveals from ancient hieroglyphics and scrolls containing magical rituals and spells was birthed the grimoire known as the book of shadows i guess that's how you spell it uh, pronounce it i mean this sacred journal holds your intentions and believes as a pra practicing witch it contained the secrets of rituals, spells, herbs, incense, oils, and the wheel of the year, and the Sabbath. So this is something that, who knows, maybe you need to start writing things down. Start getting that passion ignited. Okay, so we're going to go with candles and magic. Candles and magic. Magic comes from deep within. Ignite the flame, let it begin. Desires in mind, don't be the fool. Focus on your... Focus as you choose your tool. This magic is worked with harm to none, so mote be, there it is done. You desire to work as a magical practice me, practitioner is acknowledged as candles illuminate the path of the wise for you. The spark of the inner wisdom calls you to invoke the divine. For true magic begins with your desire to make something happen. Time for a little candle magic. Did I say turn on some? I don't know, turn on candles, whatever. Fire. Okay. As you gaze into the sacred flames, you are reminded of your true connection to the source. For your soul sparks is immortal. Never doubt your abilities of focus, willpower, and visualizations. For in, in doing so, you are disregarding the powers of the word of the world that live beyond that which it's seen remember all is magic and illusion this sacred act of candle magic has been with you since your very first birthday as you blew out the flickering flame before you and made a wish you worked with the three principles of magic that make dreams come true belief in your tool, tools as well as yourself is the key as you keep in the mind of the threefold law when performing any magic ritual which is foresight this is a magical time for you your manifesting abilities are strong keep your thoughts and positive focus positive positive focus use candles at home a bath time and in sacred ceremony in a sacred ceremony so have your little time to you know alone with the candles and i say like candles study candle colors and healing and magical purposes keep shining brightly and the candles revealed since roman times candle magic has been used for spells prayers focus and honoring the good and the goodness spell casting is sympathetic magic and in, by using a candle you can focus on your intent or will to make manifest that which you desire. Colored candles invoke different spells by combining their vibrations with intention. Ooh, okay, I'm liking that one. All right, so we're gonna go now with one, an intention. And it's funny because it says here, the last word on this card says intention. And it says, again, I say it again, cloud, colored candles invoke different spells by combining their vibration with intention. And look at your intention here. Hello. I don't make this up, people. Okay. So here we go. Okay. A wand, no use to them or thee. If the witch can't really see intention set the outcome true power enhance will come to you this magic is worked with harm to none so mote it be there it is done you're making things too difficult instead of looking at what everyone else is doing hone your own talents there's no point in, comp in comparing yourself to others and worrying that you aren't as good 
The path you walk is your, yours alone. The intention in your heart and mind lead the way. Wave your wand and allow the magic to unveil the criticism that cloak that cloaks your senses. Let magic shower you over you and see through the eyes of the wisdom keeper. The ability to concentrate fully on your intention without interruption is the simple is the single most important faculty of which can achieve in order to assure the intent magical outcome practice this art so that can use your so sorry practice this art so that can use your wand with the utmost clear intention and focused concentration by doing so you will eventually find that most of your magical work is completed before you even begin the witch's foresight decide what is what is it you really want make your intentions clear focus on your vision practice concentrate make a decision and focus on the outcome you desire craft your own wand craft your own wand use intentions with harm to none beware of the intentions of others and a wand revealed Wands are used to create magic, cast a, a circle, and pointing and directing energy, and are also used for healing and spells. It is a tool for the direction of east and the element of air. Wands are usually made from magical oak, ash, blackthorn, hazel, birch, and yew trees. Yew trees. They can also be made from various metals, such as copper, set with crystals, and decorated with magical symbols. Mm, so make a nice little own wand and do your own magic. How's that? Okay. But hey, these are messages that were sent for from the witch's tower to you, from the witch's wisdom oracle cards to you. Okay. I hope it resonates. I hope you take it with you. Put it in your pocket. Have a very good new, good new year. And happy holidays to everyone. So take care now. Love and light. Bye-bye.